Uh, so you need to verify your account usually by uploading a bit of code or you can usually get a plugin for WordPress or similar sites by just literally search for search console in the plugin section or webmaster tools. So when you log in on the left hand side first option or first bit, bit of the menu is dashboard so it just gives you an overview as it would in Google Analytics so crawl errors I've got a load of 404 not four error, not found errors. Total clicks, I just want to see that either going up or kind of staying stable, so I want that to go up if I can. Um, and site maps, so, and any warnings, so related to how well Google's been able to index my website. So, looks like it's having a problem with mobiles, okay. Let's go to search appearance structured data so just very quickly structured data relates to schema so have a look at schema.org if you're interested it's just a way of uh, setting out different events the code for different events and also things like reviews are quite good as well if you set up your reviews properly when people search for different products if you're on the search results you should get a star rating on the search results which does increase your real estate or how much space you take up and on the search engine results page and also what you click through rates like so that's worth doing data highlighter that's an easy click and drag way of setting up a schema so for example for those reviews or for example so if you want an article you can mark that up you've got a local business use schema data to mark that up you can just do it easily without any code using the data highlighter HTML improvements, just Google tell me if my metadata is okay or not. So I've got duplicate meta descriptions, short meta descriptions. So meta description usually one about 145 to 160 characters. So here it's saying a few of those are short. However, because I've got a free WordPress site, blackbeltwhitehat.com is on a free WordPress platform. I can't edit the, um, the code on there or the meta details although I am switching over very shortly so I will be able to do that site links so that's how if you search for a brand let's say my website black belt white hat then site links are these that appear here so you've got the home page and then the site links if I don't want say let's say the about us page to appear there and I can demote it here okay you can't pick and choose very easily but you can demote ones and hope it one you want to appear pops up instead. Accelerated mobile pages. Uh, this is a way of coding your page, so it shows the bare bones to mobile pages, but then they load up about 10 times quicker, and you'll have a little symbol, generally speaking, especially in, you see this a lot in the news results now, for like the New York Times. If it's coded up as an AMP page, then you'll get preference in the links and you get a little bit more real estate sorry on the search engine results pages and you get a little bit more real estate as with the um, any mobile friendly page I'll have a little symbol in this case an amp and like a little what looks like a little lightning bolt which increases your click-through rate um, to do this on WordPress get a plugin PageFrog is one I used on my other site not this one and have a look at some of the tutorials if you don't if you need to hard code it for any reason it's not too bad, especially with a plugin. Tricky bit I find was trying to get to uh, the page to serve up to mobile devices. So you can create the page quite easily, but then getting the page served up to someone on a mobile device rather than the standard URL can be quite tricky. Okay, so just quickly, search traffic. This is pretty cool. Search analytics. Got some keyword data in here showing what search queries you're showing up for. And you can tick these boxes, show your click through rate, show what position you're showing for, which is pretty cool. And then you can show it so filter by position. So these are the things I'm ranking first for. Well, apparently, I have to check these. <laughs> Tie boxing, really? Hmm, I'll have to look into that, but there's some pretty cool data on there, especially, you know, what terms, what queries get the most impressions. It's worth having a look at. And then, my dog going mental. 
links to your site, so which page is linking to you, which pages on your site are you getting the most links. Internal links, that relates to the links pointing on your website, so the menu bar, the internal links when you refer to a different page on your website. It's another way to help, well not, I shouldn't say manipulate, but send more SEO equity to more important pages perhaps. Um, manual actions, if you've got any penalties, international targeting, you can, if you're an e-commerce website, let's say in the UK, might be worth setting that to the UK so it gives preference to them, British users over American ones. Mobile site usability, no errors on there, so that just search traffic. Google index, index status, so how many pages you got indexed by Google, you want that going up as you add more content, if you've got going down you've got a problem. Content keywords, these are the most um, significant in Google's eyes and the most prevalent words on my website. It tells Google, gives you kind of a Google's point of view of what your website's about. Okay, block resources. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, I'll have to let you know on that. You can remove URLs if you don't want them to get indexed on here, okay, so that's all relates to Google index. And finally we've got cruel errors, so if Google's having any problems crawling your website, so these are not found errors. So if you remove a page off your website, what you should do is set up a 301 redirect. You know, my baby's crying. Hang on. She's all right. um, so if you delete any pages off your website, you need to set up a 301 redirect to take it to a more to a live page that's re that's relevant and related to the one you've taken down. Um, get 404s if you don't do that and I can't do that on a free WordPress site because it won't let me add any code or edit the HTTP headers so that's why I've got a few errors on there. Crawl stats, how many pages of my website Google's calling per day, I'm not sure what happened there but apparently you need you should have about 10% of your pages indexed every day or crawled every day. That fetches Google gives you an overview of your website from Google's point of view see how it's you can see like a cached version of the page. If there's any errors, if it can't crawl the menu bar, for example, that'll show up on there. Robots.txt, that's where you tell which you can stop Google crawling certain pages or other search engine spiders as well. So you can test that on there. Sitemaps, make sure your sitemap's valid, sitemap.xml, and you can add it or test it in here as well. On a free WordPress blog, that's also generated. And any problems with the URL parameters, so if you've got any tracking code that shouldn't be there on the end of the URL parameter or duplicate URLs, then you can address that in this part. That's quite an advanced feature though, so you probably want to read up on that before you jump into it. Okay, that's a very quick overview of Google Search Console.